Because it was weird. significantly in later calls, so I am happy that I recorded this, even though he seems nice here. He's your favorite morning banana show host. The show's with the most. It's out of Hello, everyone. My name is Adam Josh, and this is the Morning Banana Show. And we're at number 74 now? We're listening to... I'm going to pause that. It's got a few more minutes. We're listening to conversations with explanations that... Uh, Cassandra Fairbanks at Cassandra Rules, just like it sounds, Cassandra Rules, that this lady has had with people who apparently work for, are working for. Donald Trump, apparently. Or they're claiming that they work for the president. So, a lot of weird stuff going on with this Schwartz character. But anyway, I'm going to finish listening to it because it's my morning banana show. I think he even got my letters. Um, and they were just being like, hi, how are you? I hope that you're okay. If you're just a reporter, pause, because... Why no one knows it has not been reported? That was reported by ABC News. I know it was reported. Someone's going to go to jail. Someone's going to go to jail. Yeah, Julian's in jail right now. Because yeah. I don't want to go to jail. Right now. Let's finish, let's finish listening to it. I'll tell you what though. <clears throat> As you can see, the date on there is September 10th. Julian was in prison. I had not talked to him. He called me. All I had done was tweet it out like, don't make this guy in charge of the NSA because he worked out the deal to arrest Assange and you know I was offended that my friends were supporting him <laughs> so that's all I did I could not possibly have orchestrated this orchestrated um, yeah so I guess that's all um sorry that the stream got chopped in half 
All right, well, let's let's finish up with that. So, Cassandra Fairbanks. If you get a chance, check her out on Twitter. Follow her work. She writes for the Gateway Pundit. Uh, the federal court said that she trolled the web through Twitter, and they call her an information terrorist, according to Wired. She works... Uh, with WikiLeaks, kind of. One of her goals is to help get uh, Julian Assange out of prison. And... Crazy. She's visited Julian Assange a couple times. Which is nice. I think, uh, who else visited him? fellow vegan. Anyway, I bring all this up right now because right now they're doing um, the extradition hearings I believe in London for Julian Assange. Of course the U.S. is trying to extradite him to try him in a criminal court in the U.S. Let's look it up. London. Julian Assange faces hearing on extradition to the U.S. The WikiLeaks founder appeared in the London court to fight attempts by the American authorities to make him answer for charges of espionage. February 24th, 2020. So this is currently happening right now, but I'm, I'm mentioning it because you're not going to hear about it in mainstream media. And I'm mentioning it because those of you who follow me on Twitter will know that I came up with this threefold plan for Donald Trump to get elected a long time ago, and um, I wrote it down in like 2018, 2019. And uh, this is before anybody else had a great plan for him to get reelected. So I went ahead and made my own plan. And uh, not that I'm a huge Donald Trump supporter, but if it was between a turd sandwich and uh, diarrhea soup, Hillary Clinton or. <laughs> Donald Trump, uh, I, as a Canadian, was telling my American friends that from where I'm sitting, I think Donald Trump is the way to go. Do I regret that decision four years later? No, I do not. So I have finished my banana, and I'm going to wrap up this morning banana because uh, otherwise I'll be talking forever. But one thing I can say is my threefold plan, we'll talk about my threefold plan and how this relates to Cassandra Fairbanks and WikiLeaks. My threefold plan to get Donald Trump elected, for those of you listening, is and was. You can find this on Twitter. It's a hashtag Adam Josh Predictions or search AdamJosh.com and plan and you'll find it because it's the plan. My plan. One, not talk about building the wall. Not show pictures of the wall, but literally build the wall. You have to finish the wall. So finish the wall before you go into your uh, election your major um, election campaigns in the end of 2020. So finish it. So because it has to be a talking point while you're campaigning. Understand? It can't be a talking point about like we're going to do it. It has to be a talking point of we finished it. It's done with. See, I did the thing that I said I was going to do. So it has to be finished. That's not a lot of time. That's months to finish building the wall. Can it be done? I believe it can. So finish building the wall. That was my point number one. Point number two. This is the important part. Why, why I'm even talking about it. Point number two. I wrote this a long time ago. Offer a pardon to Julian Assange. And in that pardon would be a condition that he would turn over information that he had on the DNC that would then number three my third point of the threefold plan point number three the information that Julian Assange turned over on behalf of WikiLeaks would be damning enough to bring justice to the Obama and Hillary and the corruption 
the corrupt people at, working at the DNC. I could, there's so many that I can I can list. So the information that Julian turned over in exchange for a pardon would be so damning to the DNC that it would bring about swift, aka draining the swamp or um, justice to the DNC. That was my threefold plan. And if he could do all that while campaigning, then I predicted that Donald Trump would secure his presidency into 2020. Now, things are bubbling up and percolating right now in the background that makes me think that this is still happening because he's basically keeping, not may, maybe not Donald Trump directly, but right now, nevertheless, uh, Julian Assange is on ice. At any given moment, the U.S., I guess, could intervene, but they're not right now, other than this stuff that's going on with Cassandra Fairbanks. Or, she recorded this in 2019. She was saying that she's on these phone calls with people, and they're saying, oh, the president, we're under orders from the president, offering him a pardon in exchange for uh, information regarding Russia hacking the DNC. So I'm not working hand-in-glove with Cassandra Fairbanks uh, a couple years ago, but this is happening at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, we're both working towards the same plan, it seems. Um, and taking a step back, people can say, oh, well, WikiLeaks was co-opted by uh, the deep state and is some sort of intelligence arm. Yeah, I mean, it seems really fishy when she's listening to phone calls from people that allegedly work indirectly or directly for the president. I mean, it seems all pretty fishy. And WikiLeaks is, is a shadow of what it once was. Nevertheless, this is all really happening, and there really is a court hearing to extradite Julian Assange to the U.S. And my point was, earlier, and you can follow my tweets to read about this, so say that the U.S. Um, is able to extradite Julian Assange. Follow, follow the train of thought here. If the U.S. is able to extradite Julian Assange, from London, where he is right now, then that would be a bad thing, right, for his supporters. But if you look at the four-dimensional chess plan, <laughs> then he would be in America, right, where he would be able to be pardoned during the pre presidential election run-up in 20, the later 2020, later this year. So if you look at the 4D plan, it would be terrible that he'd be extradited, yes. But on the other hand, Donald Trump could use it as a, Look, I pardon this guy! I'm, I'm the best president ever! Part of my two, my three fate, my threefold plan. Anyway, <clears throat> that's what I think is happening. And uh, I, it's as I predicted. Now... Julian Assange isn't making isn't really making it easy on himself because he doesn't want to turn over his sources. Keep in mind, Chelsea Manning was in prison for not turning over sources, and um, Julian Assange, uh, traditional old school McCracker and journalist, is not going to turn over his sources, like A.K.A. Seth Rich, <laughs> and among others from the DNC, uh, not Russia. So, if Julian Assange is stubborn and he's not going to turn over his uh, sources, then there may be no deal for him. So he's not really making it easy for, for Donald Trump to pardon him. Um, my advice to Julian Assange and to anybody um, I talked to... I didn't talk to anybody. I'm just saying to you. <clears throat> I don't know anybody. I never talked to anybody. My advice... Uh, was that uh, friggin' there's no li there's no life living in a cell. If if it's like at this point, just turn over the information you have on Seth Rich. Turn it over. What's to gain from living in a cell? That was my advice. Now, whether or not he takes that or comes to that conclusion on his own. <clears throat> That's up to him. Maybe he's so used to living in a prison that that's what he wants to do for the rest of his life. But <clears throat> we'll see. So, all that being said, I think that if he got extradited to the U.S., that would be a good thing. If the next step would be that he would be pardoned by a president who is uh, campaigning and trying to get the support of the... Uh, 
Who do you call people who support WikiLeaks? They're not QAnons because WikiLeaks came first, but, you know, what do they call those? White hats? People with intelligence ties? People that know people? If he's trying to garnish favor with that community, then uh, that would be the way to go. And I, I don't think that Donald Trump is the type of guy that would actually want to pardon Julian Assange, but we'll see. We'll see. The reason I even brought, brought it up today and talked about it on This Morning Banana is because it's something, uh, a part of a threefold plan that I had predicted to secure Donald Trump's presidency into 2020. All that being said, as I talked about in a previous Morning Banana, if I was picking an opponent to Donald Trump, I would pick Tulsi Gabbard, and I'm still Tulsi 2020 all the way. But, that being said, if I was talking to Donald Trump himself, I would have said everything I just said, hey man, if you want to secure your presidency, this is how you have to do it. These three steps. Which are not easy steps. It's not easy to finish building a wall in a few months. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. I'm saying this is what you have to do. The way I, from where I'm sitting. And maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, I'm not wrong. Alright, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you for watching the morning banana show. Let's put on some music from the website, adamjosh.com. Song is further from this cage. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. Hashtag Morning Banana. Shout out to Cassandra Fairbanks. Take care, everybody.